But the day they announced that we were performing at One Music Fest, I got some real congratulations. Like, good congratulations, man. Good looking, man. That's a good look for you guys. So I understood how big the platform was at that point. 15, 20 of us, you know what I'm saying? And everybody is different. Everybody brought something to the table. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what set us alone. That's what set us aside other groups, other families, which is only a few. Our, our family is a family that did music that was timeless music. So uh, it continues to teach and, and it continues to influence. Uh, to this day and, and will continue to influence for, for for some time to come and maybe forever great answer dj we had groups in atlanta like the hard boys kilo ali as a young kilo and uh, and success and effect dj lynn and all them boys you know what i'm saying like we had groups but we didn't have an outlet so what we took advantage of that moment in hip-hop was say, was to say okay cool Let's stamp this place, you know what I'm saying? So when we had the opportunity to stamp it, we had no idea that we were going to be looked at like we were the groundbreakers. When we were just already walking on red clay that had been walked on already before, you know what I'm saying? We wanted to come in and just say our little part and be out of there. I had no idea. I'd be sitting here 20 years later doing an interview for a festival, you know what I'm saying? coming up under the guys of course they they've been through certain things that they was able to shed light on it on us coming up you know what i'm saying and vice versa as the game changes it's certain things that we may see just being out here in the street that we can say hey this is what's going on now you know what i mean so so check check the move like this and let's look at it on this on this uh in this lane and push things this way now so you know it's a balance uh on both sides the music album has made some of the songs they made was actually it's trap music, but they just presented it in a different form and fashion. You understand what I'm saying? So Atlanta, it was a, Atlanta, really just like a soul city. We soulful. Yes. Like we we soul. We 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 say excuse me. We say thank you. We say yes, ma'am. Yes. We got respect. You know that's that's what Atlanta. That's what the real Atlanta is all about. Souls. We wanted to do in terms of our our generation to embellish on and broaden the scope of what's considered to, to, to be black music and what black music or black artists or black people, black men are capable of. But we also represented the, the diversity amidst a community of different people. And just When you're a team, let your team and let every player on their team do what they do because that's when you get the best out of your players when you let everybody get their best and don't remix it. When it's raw, that's what people want. People can hear people can hear when you put the remix on it. Give it to them raw every time. That's it.